All right, how's it going, everyone? Hockey Ultimate Team, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Whenever you're watching this, if it's your birthday, Happy Birthday. Um, we're going to be talking about another easy way to make pucks in Hockey Ultimate Team. Um, look at this, the Ultimate Pack, the biggest pa pack ever, 36 gold items, uh, two special edition items guaranteed, at least 32 gold rare players. That fucked up the market today. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it completely destroyed the market um, for Hut Live and Winter Classic cards. So... Kind of sucks if you were making money off of that before, but uh, if you had some players, they are completely fucked up. So let's uh, let's go look at the Winter Classic cards, because these cards are a little bit, you know, more to deal with. Alright, so as you can see, there's this Joffrey Lupo going for 16k, Pascal Dupuy is going for 5,950k. The prices are relatively low on these players, and I'm just going to skim past to make sure that there's no good deals that I'm going to miss while I'm doing this commentary right now and uh, you know what not so good not so good player so right now I'm gonna use this uh, Mark or Michael Reed I think or no whatever we'll use Joffrey Lupo Joffrey Lupo quick sells for 6,500 pucks I believe is what he quick sells for um, Pascal Dupuis he quick sells for 5,850 pucks uh, what you could do uh, this is one method I guess that you can use uh, you could buy uh, Joffrey Lupo and uh, for less than 6,500 pucks and uh, you could buy Pascal Dupuis for less than six thousand or five thousand five hundred and fifty bucks, and sell them and make instant profit like that with a quick sell discard rate. Um, but that's not like that's not how I like to make my pucks with these guys. Uh, I like to make them in another way. So uh, let's uh, let's try to find a, uh, a a fairly priced Carl Haglin or so. So. I'm going to bid 5,900 bucks on this Carl Haglin right here. So as you can see, he is 83 overall. He would only discard for 5,850 bucks. And I find when you do this, a lot of the players who are bidding on the player will stop bidding on them because they were just trying to get him for discard. I'm uh, going above discard, which seems like it's a little stupid idea. But I'll show you guys why I'm doing this in a second. So he goes for discard. There we go. We got ourselves a Carl Haglin. I just want to check this uh, um, uh, Scott Hartnell, which I'm going to pick up also. For 6,500, which is discard, um, just just for uh, reasons uh, that I I can make money on Scott Hartnell. Just I want to make sure that I get him, uh, even though I am doing this commentary. I'm still trying to uh, hound the market to make money off of it and uh, make money off the idiots that are putting their cards up for too low instead of trying to get the most amount of bang for their buck. So let's just wait the extra 14 seconds, 13, 12. Um, I don't think any of these other players that was way too expensive for Pascal Dupuy. That Haglin's a little bit too expensive, but uh, let's see, 6.5, we should get a hold of this Scott Hardinal for 65, which is going to go for discard. So, uh, let's go right, right into our watch list, and I have a bunch of contracts in there, so mind that. That's just with my uh, collection uh, thing that I do. Um, so, let's see, so we have Carl Haglin, and we got a Scott Hardinal. So, let's throw, uh, let's throw Carl Haglin onto my active roster right now, and I will show you. Uh, same thing with Scott Hardinal. He's a 65 overall, so we can sh I can show you uh, what how this works with these players. So Scott Hardinal, active roster as well. Um, my active roster is just completely blank, just so that way I can uh, show you guys what's, what I do in this uh, in this matter. So as you can see, Carl Haglin and Scott Hardinal are the only two players. So like I said, 5,850 discard for a player less than 80, uh, 85 overall. And a player above 85 overall goes for 6,500. So, uh, theoretically, we could sell Scott Hartnell right now and make our money back for him, and we could sell Carl Haglin and lose 50 bucks on him. But we're not gonna do that. If you if you want to do that method, go ahead and do it by by all means. But that's not how I make my pucks. I'm gonna go show you guys how to increase the value of these players and then quick sell them. I know increasing the value of a player uh, is this black magic. Is this something else that's not in the EA? Uh, in the EA user manual. No, it's in the game. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. So you, what you want to do is go to trainer, go to type is a skater, uh, skater card. You can go search bronze cards, gold cards, or silver cards, whatever you want to do. Put your buy now maximum at 250 and then click search. All right, you're going to, you're going to hawk through all these cards. You're going to see if there's any idiots who put up the card for less than uh, 200. So as you see, this guy put it up over here for 150. We're going to snag that real quick. And just continue searching so that way you can grab a couple cards. So this one's up for 150. We're going to snag it up. Uh, let's just make sure. 150, snagging it up. Continuing our search. 150, that's ours now. Uh, another 150, also good. I would recommend buying bronze cards just because bronze. it doesn't really matter which type of training card you use. You know, if you use a gold training card, you get the same amount of money increased as a, bro as a bronze training card. Uh, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, but the way I do it is I search for the 150 cards. You can get in a bidding war to try to get them at for less than, you know, 50 bucks less and make 50 bucks. But in my opinion, uh, just it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, I just do it for this one. So as you can see, we picked up uh, we picked up five of these cards, which is really good because we'll be using four of them in the next like uh, very couple seconds. And I'm actually going to go see if I can find any captaincy cards as well. Um, captaincy cards, I believe, are the training cards. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any for actually a, a fairly decent price. I believe they're all fairly expensive now. Yeah, I think they're all fairly expensive. So let me look. I, I don't recommend doing the captaincy method unless you can actually make your money back. But yeah, captaincy cards are actually going for quite uh, quite a bit of money now. They're all going for in the thousand range or up a, up around the thousand range. So I wouldn't rec recommend doing the captaincy unless you can pick them up for a low price. But captaincy card also works in this method. So. Let's take a Carl Hagelin. So, like again, like I said, he sell, he quick sells for five thousand eight hundred fifty bucks. If you if you put a consumable card on him, just one of of a, of a skating increase, like a skater increase boost, I'll show you what he increases to for just doing one consumable. So you throw one up and boom. So there's the consumable card on him. With one consumable card on him, he goes to six thousand three hundred seventy-five bucks discard. Uh yeah. He just increased in value, and we just made money off of Carl Hagelin. We made about 300 bucks for buying Carl Hagelin and then putting it, putting a consumable card on him. So if we go and we put another consumable card on him right here, doesn't really matter what we're increasing, not at all. He, his overall can stay the same. Look at that, 6,725 bucks now. We're gonna go and apply one more because three is the max you can get a bo uh, bonus for for putting them on the players. So we're gonna go and we're gonna put one more consumable card on him. And I'll show you guys what he, what uh, his value for discard increases to. Let's put the last one on him right there. There we go. He's fully upgraded. 6,900 bucks is what he quick sells for. So a $7,000 player we picked up for, I want to say, probably about 6,100 bucks or so. We paid, that's what we paid to get Carl Hagelin with the uh, the cost of the training cards. We're selling him for 6,900 bucks. That's an instant 800 bucks just for buying him and putting the co the consumable cards on him. And it's instant money. Quite honestly, it's instant money. Now we look at uh, the Scott Hartnell. He only has the one training on him. And, you know, that's fine. 6,500 Hartnell discards for. We're also going to go and we are going to throw a consumable card on Hartnell. I just got to go through these, which take quite a little bit. And it doesn't really matter again which consumable card you put on him. There we go. That's on. Now he's maxed out. He's an older player, so he can't really get too much. 7,025. Made 500 bucks just by buying a consumable card and putting it on Scott Hartnell. I mean, if you get a player that you can put like three or four on, as you can see, he made 3,000 bucks by buying two players and buying some other stuff because we were at 4, 400,000 bucks even. Basically, with this method, you can make anywhere from like three to five thousand uh, pucks in roughly ten minutes. Uh, you can make even more if you get a uh, if you have a bunch of training cards in your inventory. You can make even more. Uh, you can make quite a bit of money. It just all depends on how well you can play the market, find players for a low price, and then put them up. Uh, also increasing the value is a assistant captain's card, which increases the value of a player by 700 bucks, and a captain's card, which increases it by, I believe, a thousand. And change teams also increase the value. So if you can buy a, um, a guy uh, like a Hut Live card that has a change team card, and it works on any, uh, I'm just gonna say this now, it works on any Hut Live Hut player of the game, works on any Movember Hockey Fight to Cancer or Winter Classic cards. So any card that you can get that's a special, I guess, a special edition card, you can do this method on and you will make money on if you do it properly. Um, again, it takes a little while to know when to buy them and what you can make off them, but that uh, gets in time. And uh, basically, you can make anywhere from five to 10,000 pucks every 10 minutes if you do it properly, which uh, is like 60,000 pucks an hour. And if you do this for like four, four I was going to say 4,000 hours, that'd be quite ridiculous. Uh, if you do this, that if you did it for 4,000 hours, you make 40 million bucks. But uh, if you do this for about, um, you know, two to three hours a day, and you do it for like maybe three to five days a week, you'd be making anywhere from 150k a week to around 300k in that range. You'll be making that just by buying the cards and discarding them and selling them for more than what they're worth. Now, of course, with the video coming out, there's probably going to be more people that are going to want to try this method. And by the time that you watch this video, the method might be gone, and it might not be a good way to make pucks anymore. Uh, this is something that I think you know I should share with you guys, as this is not my primary income of method. 
uh, when I am just bored, this is what I do. I buy flip sell players for more than what they're worth, make a, a little bit amount of money off them uh, by just basically buying them off the market. And I figured I'd share this with you guys, the guys who have obviously trouble making pucks. I made 400,000 pucks in about a week. <laughs> but, uh, not with this method, with another, with another uh, thing that I do with... Um, collections and stuff like that and buying all the collections and selling the players back and making all that stuff off them but a video on the collections will come in the future also with bronze packs which i'm going to also make a video on um that'll also come in the future so this is just a quick little video on how to make pucks using a player flip method using the any special editions so like november hockey fights cancer hot live or the winter classic cards so i hope you guys are able to make pucks with this and I hope this helps to, you know, steady out the market a little bit with getting rid of all these stupid Winter Classic cards, which is kind of my, like my idea with this, is kind of like to lower the low end of the Winter Classic and <laughs> the Hot Live, so that way the value of them goes back up after this stupid pack is gone. And that's kind of what I'm getting out with this. But uh, the market has crashed. Let's take advantage of it. Hope you guys can get uh, Primal Procs out of this, and I will talk to you guys later.